After opening Connects, start by creating a new patient. Standard information needed is first and last name. Date of birth and gender is optional, but nice to have. Select Load Client and then click Audiogram. Step 1. Select the Audiogram tab and add air conduction and bone conduction values. Start by selecting the type of threshold first. A double click sets the value. Right click can delete the measure or input a no response. Input UCL when available. By adding a complete threshold overview, Connects can provide even more reliable gain prescription. Step 2. Connect the hearing devices by going back to the home screen and selecting Hearing Devices, or by clicking the Hearing Aid icon in the top toolbar. Now follow the fast track fitting flow. Set the acoustical parameters. For the coupling type and mode type, choose exactly the same coupler you're fitting in users' ears for improved accuracy. The final input for prescription is selecting the fitting formula and experience level. SmartFit is Rexton's proprietary fitting formula that optimizes fitting acceptance. We recommend its usage for a first fitting. For optimized gain prescription for first-time users, you can choose Experienced, as it offers unmodified amplification targets. New will prescribe below the targets, and Power performs above the targets. Click on First Fit, and the job is done when you see the check mark next to the First Fit tab. Connects defaults to programming the devices whenever a change is made, so there's no need to send the setting to the hearing aids. This ensures a reliable fit even if devices are disconnected accidentally. Step 3. Always perform My Voice calibration if the devices you're fitting offer this feature. Just click on My Voice, make sure the environment is quiet, and follow the instructions on the screen. Now the hearing aids can use voice detection for many processing decisions, and may even reduce follow-up visits. Disconnect the devices and they're ready to deliver high confidence for hearing even in the most challenging environments.